parameters and variables. Let's see some of the uh, tips for informatic powers in the specialist certification. What to study and where to focus. As you know here, from this topic, you will get six questions. And uh, you can find those questions in the designer gate, chapter seven, mapping parameter and variable. And also we have advanced workflow gate document. In that document, the chapter 15 and 16, both are talking about parameters and variables both in mapping and the workflow just download this uh, go to this url and you can download that uh, document as a pdf you can download this gate from here in this website and if you see here this is the mapping parameter variable session you need to uh, focus and also same thing go to advanced workflow gate session you can download it go to the respective chapter 15 and 16 and uh, cover those topic and let's say in detail what to what to study and where to focus let's start with the mapping parameter so parameter you should have the basic understanding what is mapping parameter how we can uh, assign the default values for parameter field and the important thing is like the priority as you know in multiple places we can give initial values like either in the parameter file or in that uh, pre-session pre variable or in the initial value from the repository or the data type the default data type if we are we have the option to give the data type when you define the parameter file if you're not giving the system will take it from the default data type right so this many places you can give a parameter you can assign a value to a parameter so then the order is very important if you give the value in this many places in which order the integration will assign values to this parameter and that is very important thing to understand and when we go to the mapping variable same thing what is mapping variable what is the difference between mapping variable and the parameter and the same thing here also we can assign a stat value in multiple places so if you assign the stat value in multiple places in what order integration integration service will assign the value again it's very really important then as you see here we have some uh, variable functions right set variable set max variable set min variable and set count variable these variable function we can use it in the mapping level then you should understand what is this function and what is aggregation type which aggregation type can be used with this variable function again it's very important we will definitely get questions from this topic when we go move on to the workflow parameter and variable same concept the parameter and variable only thing is it is in the workflow level so uh, if you assign something in the workflow level how how to pass a workflow variable to the mapping again it's very important next thing passing parameter and variable value between session how you are passing from one session to different section in the workflow the next thing is like the parameter file and its structure as you know we can uh, create or define parameter file either in the workflow level or for the mapping right so think about you have one mapping you have one workflow and you create a, a parameter file for the workflow and again you create another parameter file for the mapping so in that scenario again the order how the integration uh, service will assign right the parameter file, which parameter file will get the precedence it's very important thing so these are the thing i think uh, if you go through this chapter and if you focus this listed topic in this web page you will get you can easily get the answer for the six question if you have any question just drop me an email thank you